to Poco ASMR. Today, we're going to be using what, 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 what show, so I'm going to call it Watchdog, because it's a better name than what, what your dog, whatever the fuck they tried to call it. I have it with NATO Queen and Gradient, so we're going to see how Watchdog does in the Great League Mega, oh, sorry, Meta, girl, you know what the fuck I mean? Sorry for the swearing if you're under the age of 18. Now, into the first battle. Oh my god, hurry up. Sorry, this intro's longer than I thought and I'm not editing this down. Lord, y'all just gonna have to wait a little bit. It's gonna come through. One second. Three, two, there you go. First battle, we have Nita Queen versus Lander. So obviously this is not a bad lead because we do have Earth Power. But Surf is gonna hurt us real bad. Uh, they already have Surf. Damn, they get it real quick. So Surf is gonna come through. I'm gonna let this go. And oh my god, I feel like that did more than it should have. That's okay. They catch the move on Gang Gar, which I don't think was a good. Okay, they just let it go. I am very confused of this opponent's game plan. Gang Gar just got one shotted. Surf is gonna come through. That doesn't do that much. I'm able to go for Trailblaze, and this is going to be either taking out the Lantern or getting a shield. And they decide, oh, it doesn't even take it out. Damn, that Lantern is very, very bulky. I'm going to decide the shield. For some reason, they're just going for Surf and not for Thunderbolt. This opponent is very confusing, but that's okay. Unfortunately, they have a Figurob in the freaking back. I'm so happy this Pokemon is getting nerfed next season. It is so annoying. I am able to go for double body slam. And this is going to be able to do some big damage or getting the shield. And now, Nido Queen is going to have to do some damage with Poison Fan. Because let me tell you, Watchdog cannot do this on its own. Look at Watchdog on the side. He's pissed. He doesn't want to be here. He's upset. But still, we're going to try to play and win this one with Watchdog. So, I'm going to be going down to body slam, which is fine. Now, Watchdog, it's your time to shine. I'm gonna bite this man down. Let's go. Bite, 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 bite. Can Watchdog take a body slam? Not great, but we're able to bite down and win that game. Ha <laughs> ha. Screw you, Vicarod. Into the next match, we have Skeleturge versus NATO Queen. I mean, this isn't terrible. I do have earth power. So I am going to go for that. No baiting here, bitches. And this is going to get it. Maybe I should have baited because, um, yeah, that's bad. They are going to have to go for disarming voice since shadow ball is resisted. They go, what the fuck? Why did they go for shadow ball? I don't know. I'm going to go for, why did they go for shadow ball? Do they think I wasn't normal? Okay, body slam is going to come through. Sorry, I'm just very confused as to what just happened. Body Slam is going to be going through for Vicaroth and getting it into the yellow. And now Vicaroth has a move. I'm going to let this go because this, my friends, is a Watchdog video. I'm not going to come in with Watchdog, though. That'd be crazy. I am going to come in with Nato Queen and Poison Fang down. I will have to shield because Body Slam will most likely take me out. But Vicaroth be going down to these poison jabs and now they're gonna come in with oh they came oh crap it's an umbreon oh out of all the pokemon to see in the back let me tell you umbreon was not what i wanted to see let's see how much this does oh my god come on come on watchdog you can't take anything watchdog is one of those pokemons where i saw the moves and i thought wow this could be a pretty cool pokemon to use now that I'm using it, I realize how very wrong I am. Foul play takes me out, and now this is all up to Nato Queen. I am going to have to shield this foul play, and they're most likely going to come in with Skeletorge after I throw a move. So first, we're going to deep up this bulky ass Umbreon. They decide to let this go. Oh, they have no shields. Sorry. Now I'm going to go for an Earth Power to take out the Skeletorge. And hopefully, I can get... To an earth, never mind. Umbreon already has a move we lose. Okay. Hey, you know what? Good game for that opponent. They won fair and
Red Square. Into the next match, we have Nato Queen versus Bassia Dawn. Now, this is a good lead. Earth Power will be almost taking out the um, Bassia. Well, not almost taking out, but doing a pretty good damn job. Nato Queen's going for an Earth Power, and they're going to decide to let this go. Boom, right in the freaking booty. Look how much damage that does. I'm going to decide to let this go as well. It's just going to be a Stone Edge, which is resistant. They come in with Victory Bell, which means you know what the team is going to be. Bassied on Victory Bell, and which we call it Wiggly Tough. So I come in with Watchdog, and look at the freaking grass damage. Oh my gosh. I am going to have the shield. I did not realize that this uh, grass crap move was going to do so much to my Watchdog. They're going to come in now with Bassied on eventually. And I'm going to go for a grass knot. This is going to be taking out the Bastion or getting a shield. And it takes it out and they oh wait, it's double grass. I thought it was going to be a victory bell. I mean, uh, whatchamacallit, wiggly tough. That's okay. I'm going to come in with Gradient. And Gradient is a spammy little squirrel or chipmunk, whatever you want to call it. I am going to have to shield the frenzy plant because my god, that would literally KO. I have double body slams. The first one will be getting not shielded, and the second one will have to get shielded, or they will get KO'd with the shield left in play. They decide to shield it, and I'm going to have to catch the move, which I did not. That was a fail on my part. I was not paying attention. Now I'm going to come in with Needle Queen and farm down the Venusaur, and we go down at the same time. Into the next game, we have Nita Queen versus Charger Bug. They switch the. F <sighs> I hate this damn Pokemon so much. They come in with Vicar uh, Vicaroth. Body Slam does quite a bit of damage. I'm gonna go straight for Poison Fang, and then I do have to stay in because I mean, what do else do I do? My backline doesn't want to see this damn thing with Counter. I'm gonna have to shield the Body Slam. I, for some reason, I'm switching to Gradient. I think it's because I can tank a Body Slam more than that stupid Watchdog in the back. Gradient's gonna come through, and damn, you know what? That did more than I feel like it should have. I'm gonna go for a Body Slam. This'll be taking out the Vigoroth. And now that Charge Bug is gonna come back in the end. Right here, there you go. I'm gonna try to f time these uh, Volt Switch damages and you'll get an extra one through. Body Slam's gonna come through and do absolutely nothing to this damn bug. Gonna go for another Body Slam. Okay, we're, to, we're getting somewhere. Can I get to another? Damn, they snipe a Polyrath. Welp, this is not good. This, my friends, is not good. The one Pokemon we don't want to see in the back is a counter-freaking user. We're able to debuff it, but I don't know how this is gonna go. I am gonna have the shield. It is going to be the Icy Wind. So now I am debuffed. I'm going to go for another Poison Fang. Um, and maybe I can bite down with my Watchdog. Watchdog, all, as long as I don't have Dynamic Punch, we can survive this. So they're going to throw. It's a damn freaking Dynamic Punch and we go down. Never mind. Into the next match, we have Nido Queen versus Bastion once again. This is a really good matchup because of Earth Power. I feel like there's no point in baiting because most people don't block their Bastion Dawn because it's so freaking tanky. Earth Power comes through. Boom. I switched to Gradient because I'm pretty sure the last Pokemon will be Victory Bell and the other bitch. What's her called? There you go. There she is. Wiggly Tough. I'm going to go for a Body Slam. They're most likely going to let this go. And they do. But don't worry, Victory. Uh, what's your bitch? I keep forgetting her name. Wiggly Tough. We have another body slam coming through. Boom. Right in the booty. Just when you thought it was over. Your girl got one more body slam. Coming at you in three, two, one. Right in the... Oh, crap. They let that go. Okay. So, Wiggly Tough is gone. They're gonna come back in with... Oh, no. They come in with Victory Bell. Okay. Okay. Can I bite down? Watchdog. We're gonna try. Come on, Watchdog. Come on, Watchdog. For the love of God, get to a move. For the love of freaking God. Watchdog, you weak ass. Okay. We are gonna have the shield. And 
for some reason, they go for acid spray, which makes a lot of sense now that you think about it, because I go straight for poison fang thinking, hey, if I can poison fang it down and lower the defense, I can win this one. But now I'm realizing that's probably not a great idea, because Bastion is a tanky little bitch. I'm going to go for another poison fang. Can I farm this thing down? We really need this one to do some damage. And unfortunately, if we go down, Bastion on you tanky little tank, I hate you. Into the next matchup, we have Needle Queen versus Lickitung. Very adorable Pokemon. Licking its way through. Lick, lick, lick. I try to catch the move unsuccessfully to my gradient, but we have to bait out the counter user. I believe that was CMP Die. Yes, it was, and Gradient is able to win that one. I mean, look at my high attack. You see the stats? 1450, 14. I know what y'all thinking. That's per terrible stats for PvP. Well, screw you. It's working fine for me. Now, back to the game. They decide, they're they deciding to stay in, which is a little concerning. I'm not sure how Gradient is a core breaker to their team, but it might be. I'm going to go for double body slam. And they're unable to farm me down because Lick is resisted. Here comes another body slam, Lick a done. If you want a shield, you might want to. Or not, it's up to you. Nope, they decide to let. What the fuck? If you have the counter user, why don't you come in with your counter user? Apologies. I'm gonna go straight for Earth Power because unlike Annihilate users, I don't like to bait. Boom, right in your booty. Gonna go for a Poison Fang now. Annihilate users always. Bait. Always. And of course, they bait with a Night Slash. I'm gonna go for a Poison Fang to lower the defense of this Annihilate and take it out. They survive with 1 HP and a freaking dream. I'm gonna decide to shield so that I can debuff whatever's coming in. And unfortunately, it's a Swampert. So that is gonna be very tricky to play against. I'm gonna come in with Watchdog. And maybe, just maybe, we can damn these bite damages are actually doing a lot. Okay, Watchdog, I see you. I see you, baby. You can do it. Can Watchdog survive a Hydro Cannon? Come on, Watchdog. Come on. Oh my god. Why can't you do anything right? Swampert's gonna be able to take out my Needle Queen with a Hydro Cannon. And unfortunately, we lose that game. To the next battle, we have Lantern versus Nido Queen. This isn't bad. Once again, we have Earth Power and Surf doesn't KO. I'm able to catch the move on Gradient. Sorry, I have something in my eye. Oh god, that feels really good to scratch. Back to the game. They're gonna come in with Mandibuzz, which isn't really a hard counter to Gradient, but I'm happy to bait this out. Body Slam's gonna come through real quick, real fast. Once again, another Body Slam is coming through. They're gonna be throwing the Dark Pulse. Bam! That does some damage, but don't worry. Another freaking Body Slam is coming through just when you thought it was over. I will have another one if they don't throw Aerial Lace. Oh, they decided to throw their move. Very smart. It is going to be the Aerial Lace that takes out my gradient. I'm gonna come back in with Needle Queen. Oops, sorry. I moved the mic. Hopefully that wasn't loud. If it was, apologies. Dark Pulse is gonna come through. I'm gonna be able to poison jab down this um, Mandibuzz. And now they come in with Cresselia. Now finally, Watchdog, this is your time to shine because you, my friend, have bite. So I'm going to let this go. Hopefully we can tank it. Okay, we tanked it somewhat okay. I am going to shield. Right? Never mind. Yes, I do. Okay, I shield last minute. Again, we're going to do as much bite damage as we can. Oh my gosh. Watchdog, why does it take you so long to get to a move? I know what you're thinking. Why the hell are you shielding? Well, this is a watchdog video. And we gotta see what watchdog can do. And as you can see, it's not freaking much. The 
this for the love of God. Okay, now we have to poison jab down this lantern. Okay, here's what we have to do. We have to go for poison fang to lower the defense and then go for an earth power. Do we get the shield? Yes, we do. And now we need this earth power to KO. Please, Needle Queen, come through for us. And it knocks out the friggin' Grisalia. And the crowd goes wild. Ooh. Anywho, that's the end of this video. Thank you so much, so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day, afternoon, night. Whenever you're watching this, eat something, drink something, you deserve it. And I will see you in the next one.